Welcome back. So the Rebound Indiana is our effort to help you and your family get through the financial yes. impact of the coronavirus pandemic. We know it's a lot. And so this morning, a local yes. family is sharing their story with us after getting left out of receiving the first round of stimulus payments. The WRTV's Investigates Kara Kenny reports that some families believe that they're the victims of discrimination. Victoria Hernandez lives in Plymouth, Indiana. She's been married to her husband, Jose, for six years, and they have two children together. The entire family did not receive a stimulus check earlier this year. I kind of got this, like, gut-wrenching feeling, like... I don't think we're going to get it. They are a mixed status family. Victoria is a citizen and Jose is an undocumented immigrant from Mexico, living in the U.S. since he was six years old. More than 100,000 mixed status families like the Hernandez family live in Indiana. The federal government excluded mixed status families from the first round of stimulus checks, meaning American citizens did not get the money because of their spouse's legal status. We should never have been excluded in the first place. I can't imagine someone saying that, you know, my my kids don't deserve it just because their dad's illegal. Back in May, WRTV Investigates introduced you to other Central Indiana women, American citizens who did not get stimulus checks because of their partner's immigration status. Mixed status families fought back. They contacted their representatives and some filed lawsuits against the federal government. It made an impact. The newly passed relief package now includes stimulus checks for mixed status families like the Hernandez. Kind of surreal, like I don't know. I guess I'll believe it when I see it. Undocumented immigrants are still not eligible for stimulus payments, but this time U.S. citizens and green card holders will be eligible to receive at least $600, as well as an additional $600 per dependent child, even if they filed their 2019 taxes with an undocumented immigrant. I think everyone will be very thankful that they're listening. Um, and just appreciate the fact that they've included families like mine. U.S. Congressman Andre Carson tells WRTV, I'm pleased we are making progress in righting this wrong. We shouldn't be playing politics with people's lives and livelihoods. All Americans have been hit hard by COVID-19, regardless of their citizenship status, and they all need support. Katie Rosenberger is an Indianapolis immigration attorney and says our entire economy benefits from mixed status families receiving stimulus checks. This could be a huge help to catch up on rent, to make sure that food's on the table, to pay for child care. Rosenberger says the vast majority of undocumented immigrants in our community are working, paying taxes and working toward becoming U.S. citizens. It takes a year and a half, two years, sometimes longer. It's costly. Jose works in construction and his visa application is still pending. The Hernandez family plans to use the stimulus money to put in their savings for any unexpected bills. They're grateful to Congress for including mixed status families this time around. And I hope that if it ever goes further that they keep us in the loop with everything just because we're just as deserving as the person next to us. Working for you, Kara Kenny, WRTV. Uh, Kara, thank you so much. Mixed status families may not receive the full amount if the couple earns more than $150,000. Also, under the newly passed COVID-19 relief package, mixed status families are eligible to collect on those stimulus checks made available all the way back in March of this year.